Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here with another speed build and we are actually building a tiny home in the game. It's been a while since I've done a tiny home so I thought it would be a fun thing to do because I've been doing kind of larger homes lately and there's definitely more of those coming later this week. But for today, I really wanted to go ahead and give a tiny home a go because they're really fun to do trying to figure out how to fit things into a small space. And I don't think this one's that tiny. I mean, it's definitely small. It's very, very small. But it has room for everything you need. And that's kind of the vibe I was going for. And it's an A-frame. And it's base game only. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I started building it, I was just like determined to make it base game only. And so that's what we did. And I think it came out pretty cute in the end. So we're just fiddling here because I'm realizing I need to put the foundation down first and then I can put the parts of the roof back on top of it. Uh, so that's that and it's so cute. I don't know why I love A-frames so much. And I made this a very dark color on the outside and um, I went with like browns and blacks again like I did in the modern house last week. But that's probably because I thought those items looked nicest together this time um, from the limited base game stuff that we had. Uh, this is not the outside color I end up going with, but I do stick with it for quite a while before I change it. And we end up using a bunch of the new stuff that came with the Caribbean update, like this sliding glass door and the little sofa that we got in the wall art and stuff because I thought it looked really nice and it's still base game. and. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited to be using that stuff. And I do want to do a bigger base game build sometime soon. Um, I know I do base game, when I do base game homes, like, I'll do a lot of them. <laughs> I'm hoping not to go too overboard, but I do want to do, like, a big family home that's base game, since this is so tiny. But I don't know. I also really want to do some more uh, tiny homes. So if you guys have a particular style of tiny home you think would be cool to see, let me know. I'd like to implement more of them on the channel because I think they're really interesting and fun to do. And uh, I think they're fun to play in too. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions. We're just adding a little chimney up here and like an AC vac and stuff outside and uh, just some accessories. It's a really simple little place and I had a lot of fun with it. I'm just like dying of heat right now because I have to turn my air conditioner off when I'm recording these videos. And it is so warm in here. Oh my goodness. Like, usually I'll have it on for a long time, so when I turn it off, it's, like, not that big of a deal. But I just woke up, so <laughs> it hasn't been on too long. And it's so hot in here. So apologies if I'm just, like, a little out of breath in this video. It's just, like, ugh. Um, I hope you guys probably understand that. Like, if you're in summer or if you have warm summers where you live, it is not a fun time. I'm not a summer person. But anyway, we're going in here now and trying to figure out the layout. Uh, that back room ends up being the bedroom, and then this really weird shaped room right there is the bathroom. I kept it that shape. I thought it was kind of funky, but it worked out. And then we add doors to the bedroom and the bathroom, and we end up using this base game bed, which towards the end of the video, I changed to like a more gray color because I realized I started going with like blacks and whites and grays and browns through the rest of the build, so I came in and changed the colors in here later, but we just have some knickknacks and stuff on the shelf, uh, and a radio and stuff, just anything you might need, uh, plus, like, you know, storage is tight, because you're in such a small space, so I thought it'd be quite good to add a lot of stuff on shelves above the bed, and we just add a little table down here with a plant on it, and some paintings on the wall, and then some clothing and a rug, and that's it for that room, and in the bathroom, we have the sink right ahead and the toilet on one side and the shower on the other and it's just really simple but it's a funky looking bathroom <laughs> i've never been in a bathroom that shape before have you guys i don't know i think it's interesting uh but it worked out really well in this build because we needed to fit it in but there wasn't a ton of space to do so uh, and we're just adding a plant in there to give it a little bit more color and some tiles by the shower and then the nook in the front here is going to be our kitchen area. We kind of have a U shape of counter, so there's plenty of kitchen space, honestly. Um, and we changed the color of these a bunch of times. I think we end with black counters, but I couldn't make up my mind, so it took me a while to figure it out. Uh, but we have a bookcase over here. We end up having a little seating area to like watch TV and stuff, as well as a place to sit down and have a meal. Like, I feel like we fit a lot into this little house. 
I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But if you guys would like to download this, it'll be on the Sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. That info is also in the description down below. Anyway, we're just adding some black vertical paneling throughout the house. I thought it looks really nice and just kind of broke up the texture a little bit. Also added a chair over here that was facing into the entertainment area of the home so that way if you have more than two people they can just pull up a chair and you can move that around wherever you need it to make sure that you have enough seating for your guests and then we just have a little computer desk over here and I think that's pretty much it we're just going to change a couple of colors here and there to kind of fix up the bedroom and finalize everything in this build but I think that's pretty much it thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this build I know I did. Please leave suggestions of some other tiny builds or other builds in general you'd like to see on the channel. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications if you want to be notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye everybody.